style tool folks and I think it turned out pretty good but some of the comments I got on it uh, were uh, interesting and made me start thinking uh, let me show you what I'm talking about depending on what size uh, tool I have in there I've got a variety of spacers so that I can change the center height and that makes for an extremely solid tool post like that spacer is for this tool and puts it dead on center. Well, somebody said, why don't you just make an adjustable spacer? And uh, I got to thinking about that and I couldn't really figure out a way to do it. And then I saw a picture of one designed in the 1800s. Uh, I think Barnes had the patent. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to make that adjustable spacer and uh, just, just watch the video and see if you can't guess how I'm going to implement this. Let's get on with it. Or truth. Here's my spacer. That keys into the uh, uh, compound. Hopefully that'll be better than keeping track of multiple sp multiple spacers. you can turn that without having to hold the bottom because it's keyed into the compound.
It's a 10 threads per inch. So I get pretty good, moves pretty quick. as convenient as a quick change. I don't believe it's going to work good. I think that'll be plenty solid. Let's see how it works. All right. We're pretty good. Well, I'm pleased with that. I don't know if I like it as well as a quick change, uh, but it has its advantages, and I'd say that's pretty darn solid. Well, that about wraps it up for today, and thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe.